I've had a few uh, needle stick injuries. I think it's uh, you have to you have to expect that when when uh, you're a surgeon. Usually, it's in my finger or in my hand, and it's uh, quite often it's not even it's it's maybe the scrub nurse or, or maybe the assistant that by mistake just uh, puts the needle in my my finger, uh, and uh, then of course you get a little bit uh, anxious and you have to do a lot of testing. In the end, you'll start thinking that patient might have uh, hepatitis or some other bloodborne uh, disease and uh, it's always a relief when you hear that uh, everything is okay. For me double gloving is uh, the only way to uh, use gloves in the OR. I protect myself and I also protect the patient. Okay, we always treat all patients as if they would have a virus or a disease that could transfer with it during the, the surgery. So we always use the same precautions. So there's not really a big difference between if a patient has, uh, for instance, HIV or not. Of course you, get a, you think about it more, but uh, when it comes to treating the patient and taking care of the patient, it's always the same standard. I want to protect, I want to protect myself and my patient. And I, wouldn't want to tell my patient that he got an infection because I didn't use double gloving. To other clinicians I would say use double gloving because it's uh, safer both for yourself and for your patient. I think uh, double gloving system is very good because you notice uh, if there's been a perforation both on yourself and on the scrub nurse or on your assistant. Uh, it happens quite often that I I see the indicator on uh, someone else's glove and then I can tell them to change gloves. So I think it's a very good uh, system.